Hello everyone! Welcome to another edition of Bedtime Stories! Yay! Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, but sadly as St. Patrick's Day falls on a Thursday instead of a Wednesday, I won't be sharing any St. Patrick's Day stories to, stories to you, which is just as well as, well, I don't really have any to tell you, but... I do have another selection from my old Disney 365 Bedtime Story Collection. And I have the new one up there, if you can if you if you can see that right there. It is it is with all new characters like Anna, Elsa, Jesse, Buzz, a lot of a lot of the newer stuff, but nothing from Encanto, nothing from Turning Red, which is a good mo Pixar movie, by the way. Nothing from more recent stuff. Some some things are from the 2010s. Some things are not really included. I know Brave is in there, but today I will be reading you a story from the Jungle Book, which has a 2016 live-action remake movie, but it also has a 1967 animated counterpart, which is really just the better version of the two. And today I will be reading Bagheera Bears Out from Bears Out from this here this here book. So if you haven't already done so. Please order it from Amazon or Barnes and Noble or wherever you get your local books from. Okay. Mowgli danced around, humming happily to himself. What are you doing, Mowgli? Bagheera asked from his perch in a nearby tree. Practicing being a bear, Mowgli told him. You should try it. Me? Bagheera said, stunned. I couldn't possibly do such a thing. Why not? Mowgli needed to, wanted to know. Well, I'm a panther, and I happen to like being one, Bagheera replied. Why on earth would I want to be a bear? Are you kidding? Mowgli exclaimed. Bears have a life. They hang out all day long and eat ants. Eat ants? Bagheera asked. And that's a good thing? Sure, Mowgli said. Well, truthfully, they'll... Do you tickle your throat at first? But you will get used to it soon enough. Have you? Bagheera asked. Not yet, Mowgli confessed, but I will. Whatever you say, Mowgli, said Bagheera. Mowgli thought for a moment, and if you were a bear, you would eat fruit and drink coconut juice and you would relax just like the rest of us. If you ask me, Bagheera said, I don't see anything so bad about being a panther. In fact, I'd like it very much. I think you're scared, Mowgli told him. Absolutely not, Bagheera protested. What on earth would I have to be scared of? He stood up, stretched, and gracefully jumped out of the tree and onto the ground. Exactly, Mowgli said. So why not try it? You've got to be kidding me, Bagheera said. You know what your problem is, Mowgli said. I am afraid to ask, Bagheera said. You're like a beehive, Mowgli told him. You work too hard, he stared at Bagheera. Come, dance with me, he cried, grabbing Bagheera's paw and prancing around the panther. After a bit, Bagheera began to dance too, moving his feet and twitching its tail. That's it, Mowgli cheered. You know what? Bagheera admitted. This isn't so bad after all. Now you're getting it, Mowgli exclaimed. Now you see why being a bear is so great? The man cub stopped dancing and threw himself on a soft patch of moss. <sighs> it's not so bad, is it? Actually, Bagheera said, scratching his back against a rock, it's sort of fun. One more time, Mowgli cheered, and they began dancing again. The end. So, that's it for this edition of Bedtime Stories. I hope you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more updates on scheduling and to... Find out which story I'm going to read to you next. I will also be posting what I will be reading next week in the description. So keep your eyes peeled on those. Until then, see you later!